Hey all you video game lovers, this is Zach Rosette. I just got back from a really awesome walk and I got a few minutes before my next meeting, so I decided I'm gonna challenge myself and see if I can make a video game in two and a half minutes or less. I think that if I use BuildBox 3 and I go really fast, I think I can do it. All right, let's see if I can. All right, BuildBox has this great space shooter template that I can start with. I got the template opened up over here in another tab and let's check out this game. So we have a little yellow spaceship that can collect points and fire bullets at blocks to blow them up. Let's see if I can reskin this game and make a completely different looking game in less than two and a half minutes. Okay, let's throw a timer up on the board. The timer will start the second I exit the preview. Ready? Go! I'll start by replacing the main character's idle and defeated animation. Now let's go into the character's node map and increase the speed of the character to 10. We'll go ahead and remove the ability to shoot bullets for this game by deleting these three nodes. Now let's go and grab an animation node and give this character a jet trail. I'll just drop my PNG sequence into the animation drop box and change a few of the settings so the trail is below the character and the animation loops. We'll go back to our 3D world and open up the points node map. Let's get rid of the current 3D model and add in an animation instead. An apple will work nicely with our pig character. Then I'll scale it down to the perfect size. Next, we'll jump into the enemy's node map and delete the 3D model here as well. Let's delete the rotate node and the defeated animation too. I'll replace the model with an animation that works better. I'll turn off 3D mode and scale it down to a better size. I'll make a copy and add a cool trail animation to go behind the asteroid. I'll drop another PNG sequence into the image drop box and then reposition the animation so it's in the right spot and then loop the animation. Next, we'll go into the background's node map and replace the 3D model with another animation. Then I'll quickly scale it down. Now let's add a new background image and resize it so it fits the scene nicely. I'll attach it to the camera and move it behind my other images. Next, I'll drop in some stars and resize and reposition them to fit our game. I'll copy the stars and paste them into the other scenes. I'll scale down my character to a better size and now all that's left is to fix up the collision shapes and the physics types of our new objects. I'll fix up the character and the asteroid and then turn off the physics on the background and the stars. Okay, let's check out our game. Amazing, we just made a completely different looking game in less than two and a half minutes. And the crowd goes wild. But you know what? I still got a little bit of time before my next meeting, so let's see if I can make this game even better. I'm gonna fast forward through the next two and a half minutes and show you just how fast you can prototype and build games with BuildBox. Awesome! I just took 5 minutes and I was able to add a speed boost power up that explodes all the enemies and then I designed a really nice game over UI. The power of BuildBox is truly amazing. If you want to become a video game developer and learn to rapid develop like this without having to do any coding, then download BuildBox for free today and start making your very own video game. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all the latest BuildBox news and videos.